Um, welcome back to Draft Town. Draft Day, baby. We've got a Draft special day. guest with us today. Um, our favorite Melbourneian, <laughs> Henry. S- real screw you to Noah. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Noah. Noah. <laughs> oh, Rob. Yeah, that really sucks, actually. I'm yeah. really sorry <laughs> about really that, Noah. I f- I, as mid sentence, I remembered that Noah lives in Melbourne. Yeah. Honestly, scorched we'll, earth today, Gemma. We'll just go with favorite Henry. Favorite. Favorite. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 um, favorite. Yeah. Favorite Victorian um, based Henry. Drafts. Drafts. <laughs> How good are drafts? Yeah, we're having fun with um, this. We're having so much fun with drafts. Drafts are fun. Drafts are great. And we thought because Henry is the keeper of knowledge of all things spirits related. Oh, we're having a spirits draft right now. We're having right a now. spirits draft. Let's specifically, go! Specifically, yeah. a cocktail draft. Oh, great. Okay, yeah. So yeah. the yeah. rules for this draft are similar to the rules of the other draft, where if someone mm. says wet martini, gin martini, dry martini, all gone. Martinis gone. Porn oh, so it's a family. It's a family. It, a Por- mo- no. Okay, sorry. No, no, no. no. Okay. Porn star martini me. doesn't count, and I only say that because it's beneficial to my lineup. Yeah. Um. As long as you're first. As long as I'm first. Okay. Because if someone takes porn star martini now, it's gonna really mess with my feng shui. Yeah, so if someone gets porn star martinis, they have all p- martinis are done. I I think porn star martini might be mutually like exclusive. Specific, but if you go higher on the ladder, for sure. If you just go like yeah. gin martini. Then every gin every, martini. No, every, every martini. Every martini. It's got wet there. martini, dry martini, two sip martini. Yes. Martinis are gone. Yeah. Okay. Got it? Yeah. It would it would mean like the direct family. I like how you've just Googled porn yeah, star martini. What the martini. fuck's a porn star martini? Oh, you're oh, you're, you're the most likely at this table oh. to know what that is, mate. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Porn star martinis are sensational. Although my personal favorite way of ordering them is to order the money shot on the side. Which is a shot wow. of sparkling wine on the side. Wow. Yeah, yeah man. Henry's and then he drinks it this. out of a yeah. belly button. Um, I don't think I'm about to crush it. I think you guys are actually going to pick the most iconic things and probably win the draft. For sure. Because like, I'm going to end well, up picking well, the, the winning, most esoteric the things. The winning of the draft is really up to the Discord members. It's up it to is. So we, we will duke it out to appease the audience. Yeah. And of which the poll just closed on draft number two and I won. Okay. Dick. Just Brag letting you know. It. So if Lucky's up one, I'm up one. I just I need the audience rights. to know the drafts were my idea. You, the audience, wouldn't have the drafts if it wasn't for me. So send some votes my way as a thanks. Gemma's coming last on this one. I can just guarantee genius. that statement is just guaranteed that Gemma's lost oh all God. the votes. No. <laughs> I also just deeply resent that you're blackmailing the fucking audience yeah. in my first draft. Yeah. Your first. All right. Yeah. It's not all about you. It's all about me. In fact, you introduced me first in this draft. I hazard to all say right. this is all so about me. We've got <laughs> random.org circa 90. 19- 1998 up and we yep. are going to determine our draft order yeah. and okay. henry has yep. five letters so we shall be randomizing five times okay randomize number one uh brendo gem hammer henry mm. oh for the sake of the audience we're going to be referring to hammer henry as hammer and yeah. henry, henry as henry as henry as henry yeah because my last name is hammer slay which is the coolest last it's name hammer out of time. everyone here it's pretty it's because it's, hammer time. It's it is hammer good. Time. <laughs> um anyway randomizer number two hammer henry gem brendo yeah henry gem hammer brendo mm. gem brendo henry hammer mm. and final randomization draft order oh, hammer wow. gem henry brendo Beginner's luck, dog. Okay, cool. So I get the first pick. Yeah. Hammer. Okay. Whoa, Dharma. D- <laughs> Did you just call me Dharma? It did autocorrect it auto- Henry Doyle <laughs> and then came out Dharma at the back end of it. Oh, yeah. oh love wow, that. Wow, man. Oh, Henry That's Brando. a real stitch up, bro. This is your last, yeah. this is your first last place slot. Have you been last before? I, <laughs> I think I could have been, was I last last time? You no. were last in the restaurant. No, where... it was first, first in the last one. That we just did that we've not uploaded yet. True. That you guys okay. don't know about yet. So yeah. it's, I don't know. I'm happy with my position because sure. I don't yeah, think dude, anyone's going to be choosing back to my backs. shit. The boomerang's so strong. Um, so first yeah. and last is where you want to be because you get back to backs. Snake draft rules apply. So it's first snake one, draft. This, yeah. yeah, snake draft. Okay. Oh, it's oh tail. right. Yeah. Yeah, head, yeah. head to tail, tail to head, head to tail, tail. Yeah. I'll let you know when it's your turn to pick. Yeah. yeah. Just um, point at me. So yeah. with and round one, pick one, yeah. you get the first pick. Okay, and just to be really clear, yeah. I'm picking cocktails for your ultimate cocktail. You've got my a, ultimate cocktail you list. You run a bar. You run yeah. a bar in Provence. 
cool. and uh, it's a cocktail bar. And you France. can <laughs> France. <laughs> in France. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and it's you, quirky little cocktail bar. Yeah. Candles. Yeah. And you're making the best slayest cocktail list. Mm-hmm. What is it? Uh, look, I think to start with, you've got. You've got to pick a martini. And I mean a classic dry gin martini. A teeny weeny martini. First of all, because you said that then I could take the entire family of martinis. For sure. Uh, I think that's a fucking hot shout. So I'm absolutely going to do it. 100%. I hate martinis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. But guess what? Like I would drink one to look impressive. And then I realise that people that drink martinis all the time just look like wankers. Yeah, yeah. Am I the only one that... No, no. No no one drinks (laughs) martinis for enjoyment. No one drinks martinis for enjoyment. It's like a drink that mm. hurts you. It's like... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's gross. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I suppose I, to drink Nebbiolo and Riesling, I think so they're both as, drinks that hurt you. As opposed to wine drinkers, I think you guys are misunderstanding why a lot of people drink cocktails, which is to feel pain. Um, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> and then ultimately... It's, it, it is about... Yeah, masochists. <laughs> yeah. It's about wishing you were dead. Okay? That's what it's about. <laughs> and it's an on martinis the are the quickest way to get you there. And let me just say, to the people that order a two sip martini mm. and then they follow that up with another two sip martini just order a fucking martini quattro just, sip just order one martini Gemma have you ever made a martini for a guest dude I don't have and martini. that's what I thought alrighty so <laughs> <laughs> on to my first pick Ha-ha-hem. <laughs> I've done my research and nice. I'm starting with a sex on the beach Oh, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're a, like that. No one has ordered that since about 1988. And that's why it's going to come back around. The 80s revival, dude. I've 80s got a revival. 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 Stranger what Things, Sex yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Beach, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kate Mullets, Bush. Yeah, Mullet, <laughs> Mullets, <laughs> Tracksuits. I oh, don't yeah. know what's in a Sex on the Beach. I've okay. never had a Sex on the Beach, but it's a funny name. It is a good name. It is a good name. Yeah. So it's porn star martini. So the reason that we... There's a lot of like sexual inferences in cocktails. It's just not really the same. No, 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 no. That's that's because the reason for the sexual inferences in in cocktails is from the canon of the 1980s with cocktails. So in the 1980s, you would order a sex on a beach because that actually meant something about the ingredients that were in the drink. That's why we have drinks like screwdriver, screw you up the wall. It's because screw (laughs) in this instance means orange juice and vodka combined together. So, yeah, there's there's a reason for the there's a reason for these drinks. Can they're, you get they're code. Me, like a dictionary? Can I get you a dictionary like for translate? It? Oh yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. There, is there like a dictionary on like, like straight up? Like, yep. Yeah, on the beach it. is the the inference is you yep. want a drink made this yeah, yeah. way in this style. Um, so yeah, yeah. Let like, me find it for you. It's like yeah. Cockney slang. Yeah, it is a little bit. Mm. It's, it's Cockney it's code. in it. It's Cockney. Yeah. <laughs> It's code. Look, I'm going to find this, Eastern and while you find this, yeah. Simon here for yeah. this. Yeah. carry we'll on the draft the going while you're there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Henry, your first cocktail pick. Yeah, white Russian. See you later. Wow. Nice. Followed by well black done. Russian. Thanks for coming. Wow. Thank you so much. Cool for beans, coming. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, white Russian was mate, my nan's mate, favorite cocktail. Ties the room together. Dude, ties the room together. It's bloody delicious. I it like was milk. my nan's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I like milk. Dude. <laughs> tick, tick, tick. I don't know. I, just, I don't know what any disagreement with this is. Um, There's no disagreement. They're very yummy. They're, They're so yummy. yummy. So yeah, can 100%. you make a, like I'm lactose intolerant. I've got a teeny weeny. Uh, you do a coconut based. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't want it to taste Russian. like a coconut. Yep. Yeah. Can I... Have a like a lactose free. Wait, sure. hold white on. Russians. Why the fuck are you guys talking about coconut white Russians? I know because lactose lactose free. Yeah, oh yeah, use coconut milk. What, what about Zymil? Use Zymil white Russian. Yeah, you can use Zymil. You could use coconut milk. You could use <laughs> almond milk if you really <laughs> wanted to. Just you know I mean? cut it like <laughs> you should drug me with a lactase. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. All right, uh, so Brendan. I'm, yeah. All right. So I've got a double double choice. Double choice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Easy first pick for me. Go on. It's actually the only cocktail that I actually drink and actually drink volume of. There's a few that I drink volume of, but there's like, because I'm not a cocktails guy, I'm wine guy. Mm-hmm. Yes. But there are places that I travel to that don't have oh, a lot of wine. Are you going to hit mm. the heater? No, 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 no. Pina colada. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. very elite. Pina colada. I, pina coladas are like one of those drinks that you never want to be caught like... In the rain? Like, yeah. <laughs> no, well, like... At like an office party or something, walking around with a pina colada. You want to walk around with a martini and look dope, right? Yeah, 100%. You know, I like, want to walk around with a pina colada. Fucking tiny ooh. umbrella. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sip it out of a straw. Yeah. You know, 
Yeah, no, pina colada. It's, Give me it's, a Kelly I think everyone loves the combination of rum, pineapple, and coconut. It's elite. It's they're very yummy, they and tasty. they don't yeah. taste alcohol. You know who really likes pina coladas? Paul Hollywood. Who's Paul Hollywood? Who's Paul Hollywood? From the Great British Bake Off. Mm. He's the judge. He's the mean okay. one. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, 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 I can see that. Yeah. No, but pina coladas are, are I think, as, a, as opposed to a lot of other cocktails, pina coladas can be made in the shittiest of circumstances mm. yeah. and still be pretty good. delicious. Yeah. So I'm yeah. allergic to pineapple. Oh, you're fucked. Dude. So I can't have a, it's why I've never had one. You have too many yep. problems, Gemma. I know. Yeah. yeah. I, know. I can't have milk. I can't Actually, have milk. Gemma, do you know what you won't be allergic to? Uh, a martini. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Because uh. you can't be allergic to a martini. Why? Yeah. Because it doesn't just contain just, any allergens. It's just basically. Yeah, yeah. but can you be just allergic to grape? Gin. And grape is used to make vermouth, and vermouth is in a martini. Hmm? 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 Yeah, well, then you can order dry. a dry martini, which oh, contains no vermouth. Now, I don't like that it's called dry. When Extra it's, dry it's, martini is just fucking cold gin out it's of actually, the freezer. No, it's Churchill. It's a Churchill, <laughs> so which, is where, which is where you stir the gin down while looking at a bottle of vermouth in the direction of France. <laughs> so That's I a Churchill. asked yeah. Simon, our fantastic bar manager i asked him for a virgin extra dirty martini and he just came back 100% with salt brine it's a, olive juice a bowl of olive brine <laughs> and he was like yeah. here you go mm. and then i asked for extra olives and he obliged so i just had a bowl of olives i, I know that you will s- not regret I, I know that you were saying that you can't be allergic to a martini i yeah. think i might be allergic to like nine martinis because i've oh, had some pretty like yeah mixed i've had results <laughs> yeah, <me too. laughs> I've, ha- I've had a terrible terrible headache afterwards when i've woken up and yeah. i have no idea why yeah, yeah. it upsets my stomach um, yeah brendan your second pick after Pino Colada. Sidecars. Sidecar. Okay, interesting choice. Cool, yeah. man. 80s Revival Classic. and Cognac. Uh, yeah, Cognac. okay. It was invented by Clark Gable in the 30s, though, but cool. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Wow. I, I thought well, it was Well, sorry, more... Clark Gable made it famous in the 30s. Right. Yeah. Um, there you go. Oh, but yeah. you're our knower. You're our knower this episode, because there's always... 100%. Because, you know, I'm always taking the piss, and... I'm always googling. Yeah, shit. it's the only time yeah. I get He's to be. Correcting us. Yeah, yeah. I get He's to be being real nerdy about it. I honestly get to be like the moderator in a presidential debate. It's yeah. fantastic. I just get to fact check everyone. I did fall out um, of a coconut tree. There's a new tree. dynamic here. We could definitely like mute people's mics for like fact checking. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. But Clark Gable made it famous. He brought it to notoriety in the 30s. Um. But yeah, cognac, triple sec, lemon juice, a little bit of sugar. Usually you'll crust the glass. Um. Because it's um. Uh, it's is that what they a, call like salted rim stuff? Is that, that yeah, but it's it with crusting? sugar. Ah. Sugar is called oh crusting. God. And yep. then you have the salted rim. Dude, I want to be crusted. Um, <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, dude. Some are honestly I'm wild. I'm the funniest person alive. Um, I'm sure you already are yeah. crusted, Gemma. Don't you stress. <laughs> Busted, crusted, dusted, All rusted. Just um, rank. No, but it's, it's, an evolution, it's an evolution of the brandy cruster. Uh, mm. So that's dude, that's what they from. called me in high school, the brandy cruster. That's crazy. <laughs> Not surprised, dude. That that one hundred percent checks out. Yeah, you. I've killed yeah. Brendan. Yeah, I've killed Brendan. Yeah, I'm dead. Um, Henry, with your second pick. Yeah, huh? g- yeah give me espresso martinis. Wow. Copy that. There's just like yeah. a lot of coffee going on at your bar. Dude, 100%. Yeah. Is, that, is that in the same ballpark as like porn star martini? Because it's so clearly no. not a martini. Um, no. are you is a one could make martini clearly not a martini? Yeah, this espresso yeah. martini is not a martini. So you could you could make the argument that porn star martinis and espresso martinis are in that same family of revivalist martinis, which is essentially where you're using vodka as a base as a as a way to alcoholize a something a, a flavor agent, flavor. right? For sure. So uh, that's why you have in the traditional espresso <laughs> martini. I think it was by Dick Bradzel was the name of, of the guy who made it. Who apparently made it first for Kate Moss when she asked for a drink that would pick her up and fuck her up, which is where the whole oh, story I of the espresso martini comes that. from. I want to make that my yeah. whole brand. Yeah. So that was apparently where that was first made. But you have vodka, you then have Kahlua or a coffee liqueur, and yeah. then you have a fresh espresso. Dude, yeah. I love Kahlua. And Kahlua loves you, <laughs> yeah. Gemma. Kahlua. You crusty, crusty person. I thought you were going to call me a crusty, crusty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a bridge too far for me. Um, I think okay. that would be rough as On guts. On to my second pick. Here we go. Um. <laughs> have... Before you do this, have you had one of these? 
<laughs> not a single one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you clearly haven't had a sex on the beach before. <laughs> you grommet. Jesus <laughs> Christ. So we've spoken about it a bit, but I'm following sex on the beach up with porn star Martini. <laughs> Wait, can you yeah. have that because Martini's already chosen? We've gone over this. Yeah. It well, doesn't count. Yeah, porn star Martini is passion fruit vodka, and usually it's vanilla vodka, which is like the traditional. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, my God, yummy. Um, and yeah. then I think it's, uh, oof, I haven't made one in a long time. It, it um, doesn't matter. It's yeah. got porn star in the name. But look, I'll give you a free pass on this one because it does contain porn. a wine. No, it oh. contains wine. It contains sparkling wine. Oh, that's Slay. Slay. So or porn star in martini. this case, I'm going to separate it from espresso martini. But if you then bring up like French martini, nah, get I'm lost. Not. Forget about that's it. That's been done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now none of you even knew that a French martini existed, did you? Oh my god, it's a martini made I in France. I think you've told me about yeah. it before. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll piss off. Yeah. <laughs> so you're really towing the company line with the yeah. French and the French martini. Like, relax. Okay. Mm. Yeah, right. um, cool so you can now have your second pick. Great margarita. Well done. Well done. S- 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 in margarita view. Oh no 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 no! It's uh. Da 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 any other margarita can't it, do it. Does anyone actually like a Tommy's margarita? Way. Spicy margaritas Dude. are the I've number never, one drink in uh, Melbourne and Sydney I've at the moment in cocktail bars. What's a Tommy's margarita? Do, I don't it's, actually it's, want it's the answer. Like, like, again, these are drinks that just hurt you. These, like, martini, spicy margaritas. That, like, they're just... <laughs> spicy margaritas? Brendan, Dude, a Tommy's margarita never hurt you. Did you guys me. know <laughs> that... Did you guys know that spicy margs are actually fucking spicy? I thought they just put, like, chilli salt on the rim, dog. They are. <laughs> Wouldn't that make them spicy? There's like like jalapeno, Brian, in the margarita. Why? I had one in uh, Wollongong of all places. Okay, yeah. In the gong. The hub yeah. of cocktails. And I went, I want to look really fun and yeah. young and yeah. youthful. And you I mean. chose a spicy margarita. It's what all the cool hip girlies drink. Wow. Yeah. And dude, it I'm fucking, out of touch and I'm fucking happy. sucked. I'm very happy Can about I just that. put it out there, Gemma, though? Yeah. Like, I think you're complaining about what something says on the tin. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you're saying, oh my God, I can't believe these tomatoes are so tomato-y. I'm like, well, for yeah, sure. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely my error. But when they said spicy, they're making it for white girls and they chronically mm. have a bad spice whoa, 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 tolerance. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because they... They d- intentionally didn't make it white girly. You're getting annoyed, but if they did actually modify and change white it, white girl you are a white girl, then you're going to be really be pissed like, off. Oh my god, that's so sexist Rock and, and presumptuous. Mm. All right. Anyway, moving on. Your third pick. Get my on. third pick. Yeah. Oh, it's snaky. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Um. Oh well, now I have to go with the family of Negronis for sure. Yeah, yeah it's got to be Negroni now. Surprising. So that means aperitivo, spagliato, americano. That's all part of the same family. So Can eat we my dust, all dust eaters. Wow, that Negroni spagliato trend just stunk. What? Spags? Love nah, spags. Negroni, but we'll take, a, we'll, we'll take a spagliato yeah. over a Negroni. But the, the, the whole, the the whole family of Negroni is, is, is I think, even though I kind of detest Negronis now because they are so overdone, that means like shakerados, it means mitos, it means, uh, yeah, spagliatos, americanos, they're all part of that same aperitivo family, which are all sensational drinks, bicicleta, that we yeah, talked about the other day. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Sensational drink. Is so good. Um, <laughs> you know, I like no huge, huge shout out to a bar Leone in Hong Kong. If you want to have the greatest, like the greatest experience and troll down uh, like memory lane of Italian aperitivo, Barleone in Hong Kong is the best in the world. Absolutely sensational. Sorry, I just had to give that a shout out. Um, for Negroni, Shakerados, just try mm. the whole gamut mm. when you're there. Mm. Pua. So yeah, um, Negroni. Do we, want, do we nah, Do we want to call this early? I think I'm winning. <laughs> so I, I. It's a pretty strong. It's so, it's well, so well, arrogant it's of me <laughs> as well. I just with love it. My third pick. I think I'm really gonna send it on home. Breaking up the current theme, and and bring it on in with a bucket of blue Hawaiian, specifically in a bucket. Specifically, blue Hawaiian, like like blue lagoons. Yeah, specifically yeah. in a bucket with like four straws. Only served in a bucket. Yeah, it's definitely in the eighties vibe. I'm into it. I'm into it. Actually, uh, the Sex on the Beach, Porn Star Martini, and what do you, what do you call it? Blue what? Blue Hawaiian. Blue Hawaiian. Is it blue Hawaiian? Mm. Yeah, I'm into it. I think the fun thing to do at the <sighs> end of bar. this draft is to figure out 
what sort of bars we've all created and what sort yeah. of people are going there. Yeah. I really look forward to... Mine's in Bali. I like how you wrote Blue Hawaiian Bali. Bucket. Yeah. yeah, a bucket of Blue Hawaiians. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to... is a, Can you just... Uh, I think a Blue Hawaiian's uh, Blue Curacao and Pineapple Juice. Curacao. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's essentially blue coloured triple sec and, yes, yeah, and pineapple juice. Yeah. From big bucket blue is that, Hawaiian. Is that what it is? Big bucket, <laughs> big bucket blue Hawaiian. What, what, is, the, what is the cocktail bucket. again? Verifying your human. No, back. Just back. You don't need but that. But I'm going festivalfoods.net oh, slash blog. Okay, here we go. Yeah. It looks delicious. That's a lot of buckets. Blue yeah, curacao, white juice, rum, Sprite. Malibu rum. Oh, okay. Sprite. Come on. That Back sounds delicious. And it's served Sprite. in a bucket, so it's extra yeah. microplastics. But again, it, it comes from that 1980s <laughs> gamut of like over sugar, like insane Cause, Because people drinks. realized that alcohol and spirits, specifically white and dark spirits, taste bad. No, I think the, the quality of the spirits in the 70s and 80s was not the same quality that we have now. So you mm. need to cover up cover it up with sugar. Mm. And this was also during a period where we saw a huge amount, especially in parties, um, of illicit drug use spike. So you you need when, to drink... When, when did that spike go down, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> not recently. <laughs> um, no, but it, it, we saw illicit drug use spike, especially in the US. So you have people not being able to taste things. So it's not like the prohibition era where people were smoking all the time. So a lot of the old specs are not sweet enough at all. They're very, very dry and very, very strong. During this period, we had people consuming particular drugs that would inhibit your ability to taste things. So you'd need things that were insanely sweet in order to stomach them. Wow, that's really, that's, I'm, I'm enjoying the history lesson. Yeah. Because it was like the 80s, like like Wall Street was popping off and stuff and mm. everyone was just Yeah, particular man in, in Colombia play. was doing very well at the yeah, time yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which, Who? let's Pablo, not, Pablo yeah, Escobar. Pablo, Pablo, honey, Pablo he Escobar. Was, wait. <laughs> He's this dead. This is the 80s. This is the 80s, this 1980s. The 80s. Yeah. yeah. No, he no, was a race car driver before he decided to engage in illicit, illicit I activity. I say shit. Um, Henry? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take whiskey sours. Nice. And I Great. Would assume so the family of sours, sours then. are then yeah, off yeah, the board yeah. as well. For sure. Cool. Cool. For uh, sure. That was the... Classic? Yeah, the first cocktail that I... A, it was the first cocktail that I learned how to make that I was like... I'm glad that I can make this mm. sure. because like anyone can make an espresso martini and like they're a hype drink and sure I want to like uh, get picked up and fucked up whatever Kate Moss and I do <laughs> yeah, together. Yeah. Um, but a whiskey sour is a, cl it's a classy drink. It's cool. Yeah. It's got a little bit of foam on the top. You can tell people about egg whites or wonder foam. Yeah. Uh, there's, you can make them not super sweet or you can have them quite sweet. Yeah. Sure. I, think it's, I think it's a great it's drink. A, it's, Plus, a, it's a fun drink. It's also, oh yeah, sorry, go ahead. This is the first one of my drinks that I picked that isn't like memeable. Like mm. white Russians tasty, but I know no one really likes them. Uh, yeah, no one really drinks them. That's the that's the issue. That's a mistake. Uh, it's a, uh, it is. It's a mistake. It is. It's cool. Michael's favorite cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> Michael's a clever man. I I with that. single origin milk. You should make <laughs> one tonight. <laughs> yeah, really Henry like a bit behind the bar. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, we'll get some whipped I'll up I'll make them tonight. But um, that also means like amaretto sours yep. off the menu sure. now. Yeah, well. So Amaretto's like, uh, the almond liqueur, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a very popular drink. Amaretto yeah. sours are great. Um, gin sours, uh, rum, so rum sours. I rum. had a sour at a restaurant maybe two or three years ago at this point, and it's gone down in the books as the worst cocktail I've ever had. It was some sort of, I think it was a whiskey sour, but mm. with blackberry jam instead of uh, it's yeah. weird. some yeah. sort of like, I'm assuming it would be like a cherry liqueur or something sweet. The yeah. sweetness came from... Uh, Advocate. Um, blackberry jam. <laughs> Couple of fluffy so ducks. It was, I, don't know, I don't know what goes in a whiskey sour other mm. than whiskey, some sort of sweet liqueur. Yeah, and whiskey then and sour. So, whatever yeah. makes it sour. <laughs> so it comes in a can. It's... <laughs> It's yeah. usually lemon juice. The sour spec is a combination of sugar, lemon, and e a surfactant, yeah. which is what egg white is. It's the yeah. thing that makes it foamy. For sure. Um, there's a another family of cocktails called daisies, which are very close to sours, but they're not the same family. But yeah, that's what is traditionally in a sour. They were probably doing a twist on a breakfast sour, yeah, which is where was... you add marmalade to a gin so sour. So it was whiskey? Which I notoriously don't like. Yeah. Um, blackberry jam mm -hmm. with the bits in. Mm -hmm. mm. And it was just disgusting. It was so, it was, guys, it was so bad because I get a mouthful. Isn't blackberry jam with the bits in just jam and not jelly? <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying like when they made the this cocktail, a they've not strained it and mm. they've left all the seeds and stuff. Yuck. Mm. And, it, and I'm like trying to eat pizza, but, and like it was expensive. It was maybe like 25 bucks. 
So like I'm not gonna mm, not cocktails, drink man. it. Yeah. And my friend was like, "Are you gonna leave it?" And I'm like, oh, "Like I shouldn't. Like I'm pretty skinny. I should probably drink this cocktail." Yeah. So in a full restaurant, it was a pinch of the nose and an absolute guzzle. Yeah. And it was just absolutely heinous. It's that cocktail experience that you're looking for. Yeah. For sure. One hundred percent. For See, sure. some people drink because they want to die. Case in point. Case I in didn't point. want to drink it. I didn't want to drink it, but I wasn't. I'd be. I'd never financially recover from leaving it there. Yeah, for sure, for sure, mm. man. Mm. Mm. You got to get your bang for your buck, and I absolutely. Realize that. Yeah. Uh, what's your third pick, Brennan? Um. So you've got the Negroni family. Mm-hmm. Can I choose Aperol spritz? For sure. Yeah, yeah. For I sure. choose Aperol yeah. spritz. Spritzes. Yeah. 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 Limoncello yeah. spritz. Aperol spritz. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. Yeah. yeah, I'm just thinking of like the situations in which I would typically drink cocktails, yeah. mm-hmm. and they typically play like holidays. places. Yeah, it's it, well, it's holidays because like if you do a holiday in Europe, you're smashing booze, you're smashing wine. Mm. Yeah, um, you know, if I go to the states, the plethora of choices and the cost, which is not there very much. I'm drinking wine in reference to you know what we're doing in Australia, but like if I'm going to an island destination, like or it's hot, mm. like really outrageously hot, um, I just tend to. I know unpopular opinion. I'm just kind of a bit off beer at the moment. So unless I'm getting a cider, I'm probably going to go towards spritzes or pina coladas. Yeah. Um, and then I get the next choice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So I've got pina colada, sidecar, aperol spritz. I need something that kind of is a cocktail, but it's kind of like people would look at it and be like, that's not a cocktail. Mm-hmm. But mm. it's still a cocktail. GNT. Mm, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about that. That's obviously very popular. It's kind of like a derivation of that. Tom Collins. Tom Collins. Yeah, for yeah. real. That's a Tom very. Tom Collins is a very. Yeah. I think people drinking Tom Collins is a like well adjusted mm-hmm. human being. It's a grown up drink. Yeah. Or serial killers. It's a grown up drink. Yeah, for sure. for sure. And like really bright, really refreshing, very fun. It's like the um, anti pina colada. It's like I have a Tom Collins to refresh my palate before the next pina colada. Yeah, that's yeah. And genuinely <laughs> that is like a sandwich. That's pretty yeah. good, actually. Yeah. I'd fucking take that. Going back and forth. What, yeah. are you, what are you closing off your cocktail menu with, Henry? Mm, um, <clears throat> so you've got, just to recap, uh, white Russian, espresso martini, whiskey sour. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking that I could probably do with something that's a little bit cleaner on flavour than the current uh, the current For batch sure. of sweetness mm-hmm. and things like that. Um, I was thinking about going down a breakfast cocktail route and doing like mimosas or uh, Bloody Marys or something along those lines. Um, but I think I want something that's like just crisp and refreshing. I'm going with mojitos. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Mojito. it is just holiday. very good. Yeah, very good. It, it's oh. between mojitos and caprinas for me. I've never had a caprina. Yeah, for a holiday. For that kind of like Ooh. vibe. I, Gin basil I, smash. Oh, yeah, very can good. Can I? Okay, so. I kind of want to have some cocktails now. I love that I now I've become the arbitrator of what, what you're allowed to do. I this is great. Can't. No way more than we do, dude. <laughs> I'm sick on the power. It's fantastic. <laughs> so I yeah. had I had a route and I was. Cl- Quite this always obviously. happens, Gemma, on the fourth round where you kind of like, you're like, I'm going to play the game. And every time you try to play against one of the players instead of just like doing what you want to do. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I'm going to fuck it up my own way. Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> so uh, I was clearly going, I started with the first two, obviously sexual innuendo cocktails because yeah. it's ha 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 sex. It's funny. Mm-hmm. So I had sex on the beach and porn star martini. <laughs> But then yep. I was like, oh man, buckets of cocktails are all so funny. Yep, that's true. But yep. then I realized I've got nothing on my menu that I actually want to drink. Cool. Okay, so what do you want to drink? That happens. I want a Scorpino. What the Fair. fuck is a Scorpino? Fair. It's what made Scorpino? with sorbet. Mm-hmm. It's like sorbet and other shit. Mm-hmm. And it's I mean, well, you've never had one. Well, no, but they look delicious. Okay. And um, a really cool venue in Newtown in New South Wales called Bar Planet mm-hmm. do a Scorpino of the week and they make an in-house oh, cool. sorbet. A variety of flavors, blood orange, peach, what have you. And I follow very closely to their Scorpinos of the week. And they look, are they Scorpinos? Scrub, scrub, Scorpino? So they call them Scorpinos. Yeah. Because they're made in a kind of proprietary bar planet way. For sure. But they are Scorpinos. Scorpinos. Traditionally. Yeah. Yes. Well, they look delicious. They're made with sorbet and spirit. Yep. And then just blend it up and then pour it in a glass. And you just consume it like a slushy. Mm. Yep, you're missing out one really so like key component. Yeah. So you, you what you usually do, a very traditional one, is done with lemon sorbet, yum. vodka. Yum. You then mix the lemon sorbet and the vodka until it's kind of like soft serve yum, yum. because of the freezing point of vodka. Mm-hmm. You then pour that into usually a coupette, which is the old champagne saucer. Marie then, Antoinette's tit. Yep, go on. top that with Prosecco. Delicious. So it's it's 
half edible, half slushy, half champagne. Mm. And Delicious. it's honestly designed to get you absolutely catatonically fucked up. As yeah. as well. and it is a like great a theme for your entire I will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And in fact, I, w- I would love to go through this and name the bars. Yes, like if we deal. could give our, our bars names, I this yeah. needs to happen. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So with your final pick. Yeah. And then mine. So what have I got so far? You've Gemma, got you martini, yeah. margarita, mm-hmm. Negroni. God, what a good fucking like staunchy little list. Or I beige. Think basic as pretty, fuck, Pretty dude. beige, man. It is so beige. You That's know what? That's the name of your, you your whole bar. Cool. Welcome to beige. Yeah. Actually, I think that would be fucking sick. And Back I think a beige. lot of minimalist dudes would be like, fuck, man, I love the minimalist design. There's nothing <laughs> on just, the wall. It's just yeah. architects. <laughs> Only people coming Everything up architects. Yeah. Off white. Yeah. yeah. It reminds me of my first house because there's nothing in it. Um, <laughs> no, I think uh, I think I'm g- I'll really throw caution to the wind. Uh, paper plane will be my wow, last. Wow, Sam Ross. Yeah, yeah right. Sam Ross. Which then takes up. Have you up, been there? Uh, Have yes, you been? I did get. Oh uh, no. To Attaboy? Um, no, I didn't get to go when I was in New York. I had one there at Attaboy. I went to Dante instead, but it that sounds sucked. awesome. It sucked. Oh, What's a paper plane? I'm not familiar. It's Aperol and bird. Uh, yeah, so it's bourbon, Aperol, Amaro, Nonino, oh and then lemon juice, equal Gross. parts. But hold on, oh, hold on, dickheads, because before I finish, a paper plane now takes up, in my opinion, all equal parts cocktails, motherfuckers. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> check, check and mate. Well, check and mate. So already. You've got paper planes already. Yep. Paper, paper planes. Equal, equal so that parts. also means uh, last word. Done wow. off the menu. Mine. Uh, it also and very, means like high ABV, mm-hmm. like naked and famous. Thank you very much. Wait. Another twist on uh, a what paper plane, which is mezcal, Just mezcal, aperol, nonino, worse. and lime. Sounds no, worse. delicious. Just saying things. Oh, man. shut up, all of you. <laughs> so okay, I'm, I'm right, give, and I win. I'm going to give an honourable mention to picks that. So my original lineup before I decided to be a bit more mature mm. was originally meant to be um, Sex on the Beach. Porn star martini, wet pussy shot, buttery nipple. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> Why? And because uh, just... <laughs> I don't get yeah. it. Uh, I don't understand what the thing is. Yeah. You know, I decided to... I'm a grown up. I'm an yeah. adult. Yeah. So, really? Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. So I, I'm i between a rock and a hard place here, which is also the name of my bar. <laughs> you want to call your bar rock and a hard between place. Between a rock and a mm. hard place. <laughs> honestly, that's that's the most that's, that's the most awesome. No, that's honestly sounds like a place where you get roofied. <laughs> like it just sounds awful. You get roofied with luck. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That's I no, I can't no, abide that. All of our drinks are served with drink condoms on them, so you don't have to worry. I mean, mm. Oof, okay. Oh, drink condoms. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. They wow. slide over your cup. Straw on the top. Yeah, so you can't get roofied. 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 Yeah. The roofie wow. just sits on yeah. top and you can make the How choice. far we have come. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How far. How enlightened we are now. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Um so is wait, is your venue genuinely going to be called Rock and a Hard Place? Between a rock and a hard place. I like that. That's how yeah. I think You like it? That You're gonna go for it? Like rock and a hard it. place for that her venue like... name? I'm gonna go there. What? No, you're not gonna go there. You, do you agree with that name? Well, it doesn't have to. Like, because I'd call it or, Sweet Sixteen. Nah, I mm. might call it. It's either going to be. Don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't drink here. Don't drink. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would either call it Between a Rock and a Hard Place, obviously sexual innuendo, oh, or true. I'd call it Driver as well. I'd call it Playboy mm. Mansion. Mm. Yeah. yeah, cool. Okay. I, I think he did his house. Yeah. <laughs> Brendan, no yeah. editors, cut that out. <laughs> Maybe you can just call it After Dark. Cause after midnight, no. Gonna me. I hate it's everything so that you're doing right now. <laughs> kind of want to kiss you, but pretty. Shut I genuinely, up. Think, I genuinely think your bar is in like the party strip of like Bali, Bali or something sure. like that. For sure, yeah. for sure. And it's man. called like it's, it's the called jungle no, no, monkey. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, called, yeah. it's called the brass monkey. It's called boogie yeah. boards. It's called yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's called, like, Thunder cash. Yeah, boogie yeah. boards. Yeah, I like boogie boards. Yeah, it's called boogie boards. Um, and if you're really clever with the boogie boards you can get up to some nefarious shit in bali yeah mm. love that um brendan what have you got on your draft list now are got, you the host i've got no i just want <laughs> he's drunk on power though yeah i'm drunk on power <laughs> it's i've got some pina colada sidecars aperol spritz and tom collins what's what the are we name of your this? venue classics he's not really Ooh. class um, no they're, they're it's a very good list i'm actually very jealous yeah, yeah. Pina colada, tom collins, spritzes. i think billy joel would like your bar I think Billy Joel would like Piano that. Man. I think. 
<laughs> the piano man. Ebony piano. and Ivory. Piano bar. Go, going, Ebony going and down. Ivory, yes. <laughs> Even though that's a Simon sure. and Garfunkel song. Yeah. Yeah, but I sucked said, in. Ebony yeah. and Ivory. <laughs> Ended racism with that one, Jeff truly. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like Tickling the Keys or something. Yeah. Tickled yeah, yeah. Pink, also the name of my bar. Cool. I think we should call it Keys in a Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Pineapple yeah, that's worse. <laughs> Keys in a bowl. Yeah. We're right next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you We're strategically you go, aligned. You go to <laughs> Keys in a bowl, and then you hit tickled pink, and yeah. you're having a good night out. Great night out. Genuinely, I just think your bars for younger people who will eventually end up at Brendan's. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's a graduate it's, program. They're owned by the parents. Yeah, 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 pink yeah. Is owned by the children <laughs> of those yeah, parents. It's very Into this. Keys honestly, in a bowl. how how boomer of everyone. Uh, Henry, um, what's the name of yours? Um, I think that mine is, uh, I think that mine's like a swim up bar in like a tropical resort type thing, mm. which yes. white Russians go really Russians well espresso in. martinis. I'm just thinking about mojitos. So surely, yeah. <laughs> Yours surely. is definitely, it's the lobby bar at Club Med. Yeah, mine's yeah. like a hotel. It's the, it's the Qantas business yeah. lounge. Yeah, like mine's like a hotel. <laughs> like it's sort of serving everyone and then the white Russians are just there, which was the first pick, which is ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's part it. of the Christmas menu. It's my favorite yeah. thing. Um, oh, I don't know. I reckon it's got some boring corporate name. My joint. No, um, surely we should no. be going with with like the rug that ties the room together. Yeah, or like the bowling alley yeah. or something. Oh, the bowling alley. Jesus, Ooh. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? What's yeah, that? Yeah. What's You'll that bowling it. alley bar in Melbourne called? The bowling alley. Bar? Ra- it's oh. in oh, near yeah, Preston. Yeah. It's in Preston around the corner. Well, there's a few of them because there's one at um, there's one at Crown Casino as well. Oh wow! Shit. Yeah. Oh no, it's awesome. Mm. You just do shots of yellow chartreuse and then get on the lanes. Yeah. <laughs> and the lanes doesn't refer to bowling lanes. It means booger sugar. No, it genuinely <laughs> means the bowling the lanes. lanes. <laughs> so do you In reckon, this unfortunate case, it's the reckon, one time I'm not referring to that. Do you reckon they let you take yeah. shots of yellow chartreuse and then ask for the assist ramp? <laughs> I, I actually have done that before. Slay, yes, I, I love that. Is it because you were like, messed up or because you're really bad at bowling oh it's fucking impaired yeah i was mm. terrible impaired at bowling or impaired drunk? oh no 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 i am i was extraordinarily Just, inebriated yeah i mean white russian really sealed the deal for it you can't really build everything else and then be like and white russians i think yeah. white russians is core i think the dude yeah is yeah the dude is a very good name yeah, yeah. i think that's it's very a blokes good. only bar yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, it's actually a it's a protest against mona no, yeah do you know what it is the gentleman's <laughs> lounge <laughs> It's the menu. No, that's their next move. That's it's, probably going to be their next it's move. It's the bar menu of those barbers that offer cocktails. You know those barbers mm, where you can go, they ah, serve men yeah, only, yeah, but yeah, you can yeah, also yeah, get yeah. drinks there. That's yes. what it's for. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. Which, by the way, I totally love. I'm totally for. Yeah, because men <laughs> really need a safe space. Or? Well, no, I also think like a hair salon for women should definitely totally serve kidding. wine and cocktails. So I yeah. think that's a really, really fun Wait, thing. I think they do that, don't they? The barbers. Serving cocktails or the barbers only serving men? I am definitely not agreeing with the barbers only oh, serving men. Oh, that's what I thought you I think that's really, with. really dumb. The okay, end of that's yeah. why I was like, yeah, men need a safe but, space. But equally, I, I know how much it costs me to get a haircut and the options I have to get haircuts. Like, there's not exactly like a lot of artistic options sure. available. And then when Laura goes and gets a haircut and I see the bill for that and mm. I realise that all these different plethora of options and skill sets you need, I don't think anyone would... Any anyone who wants that kind of like artistic haircut wants to go to a barber for it. For sure. Mm. So I think by happenstance, they just typically get a lot of dudes there. And on that note, uh, wraps up this week's draft. Wait, hold wait, on. Wait, wait, wait. Name you, everyone's wait we're definitely. Name so we've bar. just decided that mine's called Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, by I don't fucking think it's public no. opinion. I thought well, we had. It is. It's fucking beige. Martini, margarita, Negroni, paper plane. Oh, you can call it. Um, I'd actually oh like to call it the you Twin can call it Towers. M-A-A. All just I want to do is. Ch- <laughs> Dude, what? This always happens at the end of these. Just and like unravels. Take your money. No, just, yeah. I would like to call it Beige Cowboy. Thank you. The Beige That's Cowboy. Really? No, not the Beige Cowboy. Just Beige Cowboy. It's actually really fun. The reason being... Why don't you call it Concrete Cowboy then? Because I'm that... That's pretty beige. Okay. Call Hold it Concrete on. Jungle. Hold yeah, on. Yeah. Concrete Hold Jungle. On. The reason concrete it's called Beige jungle. Cowboy is because concrete you three are dickheads and you all called it beige until that last drink, which is a little bit, you know, rebellious, like a cowboy. Like a cowboy. Beige Cowboy. 
I'm a real cow door. <laughs> cow door. What about beige rainbow? Have you seen Gentleman Broncos? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should call it Gentleman Broncos. It's it- not called Gentleman Broncos. Oh, why can't you let me? I'd let all you have your your names. Technicolor beige. <laughs> Joseph and the Technicolor Beige okay, Coat. But, no, no, no. Okay, you know what? Beige Dream Coat. I'll meet you beige, halfway. Yeah. That's why I beige said. Beige Dream okay. Coat. Joseph and the Technicolor Beige Coat. So we have... All right. We, we, we should incorporate this into the voting as the names of the venues. Oh, so yeah, we have, sure. We have... Beige Dream Coat. Beige Dream Coat. Tickled Pink. Keys in a Bowl. <laughs> I'm not going on the dirt. I want 710 Split. 710 <laughs> Split. 710 Split. Yeah. Okay. I think that's right. really solid. And yeah. you, yeah. audience... Get to dictate like a dictator, um, which a collective, <laughs> much more a like a democracy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, I've learned a lot about geography and the government today. <laughs> yeah, you have. Wow, it's really been a school day. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. yeah, and now these guys got to go off to work. Yeah, we yeah, go. we're gonna go, you're gonna get go back cocktails. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, here we go. Say After all that, so you know what? We're gonna test out all these. Yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is started to get to the point of unhingedness. Yeah. 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 We'll see you in the next one. Oh my